An Eden Prairie man is now charged with terroristic threats for allegedly pulling a gun on a group of Somali teens at Eden Prairie McDonald's. Part of the confrontation can be seen on this video that went viral last month. Today, some of the teens in that video walked us through what they say happened and why they say they still fear this isn't over. Carol Evans' Lou Ragoose is live with their story. Lou? Julie, this suspect was actually arrested and released without charges last week because prosecutors first wanted to watch the surveillance video from here at McDonald's. And after doing so, they say that it backed up what the teens say happened and the man was charged with a felony. I go to McDonald's, I don't expect someone to just pull a gun on me. A group of Somali teens shared what happened two weeks ago at the Eden Prairie McDonald's. When he pulled the gun, I was shook. I thought, oh, this guy's gonna kill all of us. Terrified for my life. Jihan Abdullahi says she and a friend were trying to pay for their food using a smartphone. It wasn't working and the man in line behind them got impatient. He said under his breath, you're probably trying to pay with EBT. And I said to him, just because we're a group of black kids, you think we're trying to pay with EBT? Yo, he has a gun, well, has a gun. This cell phone video shows the aftermath as the teens saw the man pull out a gun. Hey. 55 year old Lloyd Johnson is now charged with making terroristic threats and having a gun in a public place without a permit. Nobody, nobody. You don't take your frustrations out by saying pejorative things because they're kids and perhaps because they're Somali Americans. According to the criminal complaint, Johnson admitted to police he pulled the gun and said he felt threatened and did it so he could leave. Yes. We asked Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman if there's evidence of that. I don't mean to return to the playground, but he started it. And he started it for no reason at all. And when they spoke to him, they had appropriate space. But when he next spoke to them, he bellied right up and got in their face. He proceeded to pull out the gun and all of us scattered so we wouldn't get shot because we were fearing for our lives. And the teens say that this continues to affect them because Johnson is actually free and uh, he won't be back in court until January. Another thing that shook up the teens is that the managers here at McDonald's asked them all to leave immediately after it happened. They felt that that was putting them into harm's way because the man had just walked out that door with a gun. Julie. All right, Louis, just to be clear, EBT is basically a debit card for food stamps, which is why that was an insulting comment. Exactly. It's what, what, what used to be known as food stamps, and it's, it used to be known as food stamps. It's a, it's a debit card that can be used at any store such as McDonald's to pay. All right. Thank you, Lou.